Seeds of Selfishness, our daily devotional. Your education begins the moment you enter the world. A baby learns the sound of their parents' voices. They learn that when they cry, they are responded to, and that when they eat, they feel satisfied. But one thing babies don't have to learn is selfishness. It's in the human DNA. They instinctively demand whatever they want and throw a tantrum if they don't get it. Truthfully, selfishness in children and adults isn't much different because it is part of our sinful nature. However, dying to self needs to happen in order to truly be a friend and follower of Christ. In fact, your salvation depends on it. There will not be any selfishness in heaven. The Bible says in Luke chapter 9 verse 23, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross daily and follow me. The Bible is very clear about the dangers of allowing the seeds of selfishness to grow. Luke chapter 9 verses 24 to 25 says, For whoever wants to save their life will lose it, but whoever loses their life for me will save it. What good is it for someone to gain the whole world and yet lose or forfeit their very self? In other words, if you're focused only on you and trying to save yourself, you will be lost. God wants you to have an unselfish heart and love Him so much that you would be willing to lose your life for Him, not putting your selfish ambitions above God. Philippians chapter 2 verses 3 and 4 tells us, Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interest, but each of you to the interest of the other. Selfishness will never bring happiness, nor will it draw you closer to God. It only leads to heartache, pain, and sinful acts. We're told in James chapter 3 verse 16, Where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there will be disorder and every vile practice. Humbling yourself before God is character building with life-changing results. It turns judgment into grace, quarrels into peace, and criticism into love. Seeds of selfishness will not grow in a garden of love. So ask God to give you more love in your heart for Him and for others and enjoy the peace that humility brings. Our Bible text 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 24 Let no one seek his own, but each one the other's well-being. Proverbs chapter 11, verse 25 The generous soul will be made rich, and he who waters will be also be watered himself. Romans chapter 15, verse 2 let every one of us please his neighbor for his good to edification. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 2 With all lowliness and meekness, with long suffering, forbearing one another in love.